Hey everybody, I thought it'd be fun to do a, another building a project under Nix video. And in this case, I'm looking at DXVK, which is a Vulkan based translation layer for Direct 3D 10 and 11. This is actually the, the D9 VK branch of that, or fork, I should say, which adds a Direct 3D 9 layer to this. So this documentation is, uh, is a bit inaccurate, but it's a, um, uh, in development projects, so it doesn't really matter. And what I'm interested in doing is building this project under NixOS so I can try running uh, games using this translation layer instead of the current translation layer in Wine, which goes to OpenGL. Um, I think it'd be fun to get building under NixOS, and uh, also it'd be really nice if I can get it to the point where I could start playing around with uh, the translation layer. I'm a fan of Skyrim, which uses Direct3D 9, and it'd be nice to be able to have an even better experience running Skyrim under Linux. I've already checked out the source code, more accurately, a fork of the source code, and I already have uh, my standard windows open where I have uh, you know, one screen window for interacting with the console, one for the editor, and I've already created an initial build environment package for Nix packages. This is the standard one I use when starting on this type of stuff, and it just imports the system Nix packages and defines a derivation env. Uh, the name doesn't really matter, I always just start with env, and uh, placeholders for native build inputs and build inputs. What I'll be doing here is adding the native build inputs and build inputs to the point where I can build D9 VK, and then I will be moving that build definition inside Nix package. After I've moved it in inside Nix package, then I should be able to build it from Nix package my system directly, and then I'll try running it um, in Wine. Actually, I'll probably try running it in Wine once I get it building outside of Nix packages first. So I have my default uh, set up here, and right off the bat, I'm going to do uh, a Nix shell using this environment. I have that alias to Nix dev, that just Nix shell, always accessing env as the package. This is a clean environment. I don't really worry too much about making sure I have some dependencies in there that I shouldn't. It's fresh. It's a clean environment in terms of it only has the dependencies that I've already placed into that which it has none. So I expect this build to fail, but I want to see what I need. So build instructions, uh, DLLs, blah, blah, blah. This will create a your target directory. Okay. All right, well, so they have a package release script. I'm curious to look at this package release script before running it. Um, DXVK, DXVK. Okay, so we're definitely gonna do a dev build. And uh, let's find out what wine, uh, wine created by adding the wine lib argument. Well, we want to create a wine library, so we will do that. And we want a uh, dev build. Okay. So then it has a function build arch, which builds this for the specific architecture. And then it does it for 6432, then calls build script. What is that is? Oh, it builds the actual build, the setup script. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna come out, comment out build 64. I'm not interested in the 64-bit platform at this time. I'm just gonna eliminate that for now. So might as well start easy. So then what does it say? Uh, package release master, your target directory, followed by no package, which we want dev build and wine lib. Okay. So let's give that as that package release master target directory. Well, let's hope it creates a target directory and I'll just name it target. Then it was dev, was that one word? Hyphen build and wine lib. Okay, let's see what happens. Bad interpreter, no such file or directory. Pretty standard for Nix OS, there is no slash bin bash. So we will explicitly run it in bash. Okay. Mason command not found. Yep, this is to be expected. So now in the build tools, we need Mason. So let us add Mason, which should be pretty easy to the native build inputs. We do Mason. 
and go to our next shell again, which now will have Mason in it, as you'll notice. And we will try that command again. Okay. DSLang validator not found. Okay. So then GSLang. Oh, yeah. It's GLSL lang. So we will try that again. And now note it will grab the GSLang tooling and build it. And we'll check back once that's done. While that's building, I want to actually check out the Mason build tool. Notice it's uh, under Build Managers Mason. We're going to go check out Build Managers Mason and look at that derivation. What I'm interested in is if this adds indeed a setup hook. A, uh, a setup hook is a script that is added to things that try to use this as a build input to set up whatever build is necessary. And we're going to look at uh, the Mason flags. Okay, okay. Unhook post configure. And notice the setup hook here builds with Mason build Mason flags. If we go back here to the script, Notice it does slightly different. It does Mason, then it does a ninja for the actual build. Uh, so let's go check out. Let's go check out Ninja. See if it has a setup script as well. Uh, sorry, setup book. And indeed, it does have a setup book. Okay. So what is this cross file? So what I'm looking at. Actually, I'm going to disable both the Mason setup hook as well as the Ninja setup hook because neither of these look quite appropriate for this. And I'd rather start from uh, scratch. Set those in our derivation properties here. Okay, our GLSLang tools have built, so that should have brought, ah, uh, yes, GLSLang validator into our environment. So we will go ahead and try now building again. Oh, let's remove this target directory. Okay, all right. Interesting. Where are we at? Okay, so some stuff failed to compile, no problem. Before I chase down where that dependency is supposed to go, I'm going to go ahead and make this into the derivation for the package that I expect. And for our build phase, we're not going to use the standard one. We're going to use the command that we've been using. We're going to build to the output directory. Given this build definition, we can build it like so. Okay, so we have no source directory. That's fine. We want the current directory for source. Try again. No such file or directory wine DCC. Well, I know that comes from the wine package. It might be wine.dev, but we'll just try wine. Okay. Now we're back to stubs32. Okay. All right. And what doesn't surprise me is that this is because it's not using the 32 bit packages. So we'll go ahead and use the 386 builder, not the 64-bit builder. That's right. Okay, 
Okay, and now the build is proceeding just fine so far. Pretty cool. Yeah, how do we actually use this? Once it's once it's built, what do I do with it? Um, let's check out setup. Cool, that built. And now in our current directory, we have this result directory, which contains DX VK master and the uh, build stuff. So if I'm reading this right, set up DX VK should work from this current directory. It looks like I can just run it as is, and I don't need to worry about it uh, deleting the old files. I can even uninstall it for it. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, well, no, uh, x64, file not found. Now, one thing is that it should be possible to build this um, multi-lib. Um, Multi-standard env. But um, I'll look into that later. For now, what I'm going to do is similar to what I did to package release where I've just disabled the 64 for setup DXVK. I'm going to uh, disable the 64 as well. There we go. And once again, rebuilding this and we're back pretty easy and we'll try the oops same instructions again these you couldn't put into a, a nix thing because it's manipulating your wine prefix which is not managed by nix os and this is as expected Okay, so in theory, D3D, oops, D3D9, indeed is now a DLL, points to this one. So what do you think? Is it gonna work? Well, I'll be. I mean, is this actually working? That's crazy. Yeah, this is actually working. Wow. That's so cool. Definitely some glitch. But this is uh, faster than it was using the previous wine um, Direct 3D9 layer. Ah, this is great. Okay, that's not working. That's okay. This is fantastic stuff. Um, okay, well, not quite 
working right. Works uh, closer than I expected. 